I would like to take this opportunity to thank all of you who have liked, shared and subscribed to this channel as we have just passed 100 subscribers. In fact, as I'm producing this video today, we have 114 subscribers. But I would particularly like to congratulate M. Mac as our 100th subscriber. So please email me at drive at petercary.com so I can send you a small gift to mark the occasion, M. Mac. Anyway, we've Without any further ado, we'll move on to today's video. Hello and welcome to another of my YouTube videos. And today we'll be talking about jacking the car up and fitting some mud flaps. Last video I did, there was a bit of concern by my viewers that I perhaps could not use a scissor jack to lift the car up. Um, I had researched it before doing this and found references to hybrids being able to be lifted up. So let's have a look and see if there are any jacking points to the car. And you can see the notches in the seam where a scissor jack should be positioned. And a little bit further into the car behind that grey panel is the uh, batteries. Not a lot of room, I'll grant you, between there and the scissor jack, but it shouldn't rub. And we'll talk about jacking the car up safely so that if it did fall off the jack, there'd be no problem. Are the points at the back of the car? Again, you've got the um, notches and the panel there shows where the batteries are hidden. Um, much more room actually at the back of the car. And I've got what I feel is necessary when changing a tyre. We've got the um, warning triangle in the red box. We've got two flashing lights in the little orange pads. We've got two boxes of wheel chocks. We've got the extending wheel nut wrench, the handle for the scissor jack, the scissor jack, and of course, a spare wheel correctly inflated. You don't want to have a puncture and then find that the spare wheel is flat as well. I've managed to track down some genuine Kia mud flaps through an eBay. These should cost £60 each, but that does include fitting at your Kia garage. I'm hoping to save myself half of that money by doing it myself. Now I must start by giving you a warning. Before even attempting to jack a car up, you must decide that you have a safe place to do it. It must be flat, level and firm and no chance of a passing vehicle blowing the vehicle off the jack. So if you've broken down on a motorway, hard shoulder, I definitely wouldn't be thinking of doing it myself. I would be getting hold of Kia Assist. But whoever you registered with, call them out to have the tyre fitted. This is really only to be attempted in very safe areas, such as I've selected a, a quiet car park. You must apply the handbrake, press P to put it into park, press the power button to turn off the car. With that out of the way, We'll now go on and see how to safely jack the Kia up. We're going to chock the wheels on the side opposite to the one we're lifting. So we put the chocks rubber side down to the ground, steel side towards the tyre. And we repeat again on the front wheel. 
If you were just doing the one wheel, you could get away with doing it diagonally. We've selected the lock nut, the anti-lock wheel nut, and we'll just go around and slacken all the wheels. <coughs> As they're all coming off, we can do that. We'll slide the scissor jack in and position it between those notches and we'll jack it up. Slide the spare under the sill so that if the car does fall off the jack it will only fall onto the spare wheel a matter of an inch or so so the car should be quite safe. We'll take the wheel nuts off and remove two screws and there's a plastic rivet has to be put in place. Once that's in place you're okay. You get longer screws to replace the ones that you've you've just taken out. So we offer the two up and just tighten up with a Phillips screwdriver. Job done and that's £15 saved. Put the wheel back on the nuts on finger tight tighten the nuts up fairly tightly sort of opposite each other so the wheels pull down square remove the spare wheel and lower the jack. You'll note that I'm actually using a screwdriver now to lower it because I the uh, jack was actually very hard to do with that lousy screw uh, with that lousy handle so I'm using a screwdriver as a straight bar to lift it up much quicker and easier. There is an adapted nut for about a tenner that you can get to uh, make it even easier take off the wheel nuts and the back is very similar. Take off the two screws that are holding the wheel arched but this time the wheel arch is held by a rivet. On the front one there wasn't a rivet there so you just pushed the supplied rivet and put it through. This one required a little bit of encouragement to come out with a screwdriver but once it was there, same repeat action, screw in two screws, job done. Put the wheel back on And finally, tighten the nuts up. We've got the locking wheel nut fitted to the nut there. We tighten up almost opposite. Do it again. We tighten up opposite so that we pull the wheel on square. And 
and just run around one circle to make sure they're all nice and tight, which they are. And now we'll have a look at that little adapter that I was talking about. It costs about a tenner, but it's got a nut with a hole in the middle. A hole in the middle takes a half inch ratchet, a half inch socket set ratchet. So we'll just put the washers and nut on. Tighten it up. Just a matter of a two or three turns. Draper socket there. You can get any socket. I got a draper because it's a reasonable quality. Um, and if you've got a flat tire, you don't want to suddenly discover that the socket, the ratchet you bought, breaks in the middle of the night when it's tipping down with rain and you've got this flat tire. So we'll just slide the jack back into place and we'll see if it's any quicker. This is obviously speeded up but it's got a proper timer running alongside it. So 94 seconds to jack the car up. Believe me that's much quicker than it was well, we'll move on now to lowering the jack. Again, a speeded up video, and you see that it takes us only 65 seconds to lower the car. Much easier than using the original handle to the scissor jack. If you liked this video, please click the thumbs up icon, share it, and comment. I always try to reply to comments, and of course subscribe. As I said at the start we now have 114 subscribers. It's amazing how quickly this channel seems to have grown and I really do appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you all at the next video. Bye!